Hey guys, it's Kirgle again with another ROM review and this time I've got Veneer ROM for Galaxy S3. Now, um, this ROM is not well published in my opinion. Uh, it's not well received. A uh, lot of people don't even know about this ROM. And a user in uh, Twitter and on YouTube comments come, uh, well, swayed me towards this ROM and this is a really good ROM. I'm not sure why there isn't a thread in the Galaxy S3 forums but there should be. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you would see here is the lock screen, which is like any other KitKat lock screen. You do have uh, these functions, pretty cool. It is a KitKat ROM, so you do have that. Now, the launcher is the light version of the, well, kind of like the light experience launcher, so you do have that, so that's pretty cool. Let's go to the settings menu. Now, in the settings, you can see it has extra features like any other ROM. What does this what is special about this rom a lot actually it doesn't actually bring out a lot of new things but it implements the already prevalent options in a better way which well at least in my consideration a better way let's get into the about phone page you can see it is kitkat one year you can see it is one year rom it's kind of a viking inspired rom <laughs> you'll see that in the um boot animation which is really awesome uh, it is the 6th nightly uh, built on 6 to 2014 so it's a nightly version and uh, most probably by the time the video comes out there will be a uh, new version so sorry about that it's a, the, not in the new version so yeah now let's get into the settings now first of all uh, there are extra settings these are named ad aptly named voodoo settings so yeah that's pretty cool interface settings now in the interface setting you can first first option is hardware key control so you can uh, actually bind everything you do have a disabler for the backlight so you can choose this to disable the backlight and all the also the time you have the um, hardware key remapping options here you can remap all the hardware but uh, hardware buttons uh, you do have playback playback control from the lock screen for the music player keyboard control re reorient volume buttons when the orientation changes fast torch which is by uh, holding the power button you can see that uh, quick camera that's something which i really uh, anticipated but uh, i couldn't really uh, get it to work i'm not sure why it does have voice controls from here from the head headset inline buttons you can see launches voice control with uh, long press controls media with long short press so you do have that so that's pretty cool in the power menu you do have a few options you can enable all of these you can enable re screen record and screenshot mode so if you want to use that you can now in the user space that is where the uh, where these are the extra features which i really like first of all uh, active notification or this one so active notification we know that they are implemented in a lot of other ROMs, so it's nothing new but uh, this one is kind of special it has a dead simple ingenious way let's see I'll, I've now enabled active display now I can enable active display and lock screen notification from the same uh, screen so well active display and uh, lock screen notification are similar functions with a bit of change and now you can select pocket mode right in here you have the option to select either lock screen notification or active display which is a really ingenious way to implement because i have already said that you cannot use both the pocket modes in active display and lock, uh, lock screen notification you can only use one but in the previous roms you had to go to each menu and disable one and enable the other but here you can just enable one and the the other one won't be enabled at all so that is a really ingenious way i really like that uh, implementation so that's pretty cool in the more options you can see other options like uh, show ampm etc etc these are the lock screen notification options so these both both of these are combined into one menu so that is really cool it doesn't have turn off when you put it back into screen so that's kind of a oversight i'm not sure so yeah that's uh, you have to live with that lock screen options has a few options you can see music control camera widgets uh, it does have transparency and blur notifi blurred uh, notification background so you are not uh, short on that you do have slider notification it is four way slider rather than the eight way slider which are available in other roms so yeah now in the status map mods you have a few extra settings now in the clock styles normally a rom offers the right side clock 
or the center clock right but in this there is a left side clock option also so that is really a new function i really like that you do have a mpm indicator you can have that custom clock colors you can select the clock colors if you want battery style also you do have a few options you have these many that is icon portrait icon landscape circle text and hidden all together you also have a uh, battery percentage uh, st signal status so you have icon text and no signal at all you do have double tap to sleep which is a really cool feature to save your power button uh, it literally halves the number of times you have to press the power button so that's pretty cool uh, show notification count you you can show the notification count there so if you want to so that's pretty cool quick settings now quick settings is the normal cyanogen mod style quick settings but it does have styles that's one really major improvement i found over the other ROM. so that is really cool i really really need to use the four style four tiles per row option and it does also have flip uh tiles option and now talking about the um tiles menu you do have a plus sign here which you can use to customize from any screen you don't necessarily have to go to this page to customize the option you can just click the plus sign here and you can uh, add or remove any other thing which you don't need so that's pretty neat um, you do have the normal science and mod style options you can see camera mobile music etc quick record uh, all of these so that is really cool so you do have that uh, apart from that that's uh, fairly normal now notification drawer you do have halo ring that i'll come back to it later uh backgrounds you can select the background you can have a custom image or you can have a transparent one or whatever you want you do have quick access toggles which is um, this one so you can link it to the quick uh, quick tiles or you can uh, have your own uh, tiles layout so that's pretty cool now halo ring halo ring well this one is actually the halo which you we all know but um the problem which i had with the halo is that it had a blue center thing right it doesn't go really well with the kitkat white theme what this does is this is really a ring just a ring it's not a circle you can see uh i'm going to enable that now now i have enabled the halo ring you can see it's a ring rather than a other a, a it doesn't have the center thing that is really cool uh, i really like that it may not be much but still these are the little things which uh, no one else thinks about but it really works out wonders so that's pretty cool uh, you can even have the colors if you really want to because it does have custom colors so yeah that's something now in the more settings you have a few extra options you can see custom carrier label you can change the custom ca uh, the carrier label to something else i'm not connected to the internet so it's not showing the carrier label i can change it to something else like uh, yeah, let's see freddy so yeah it's changed to freddy so you do have that option dual paint mode is a really cool function if you want to use the uh, tablet style settings menu you can use that wake up on plug when you connect to the charger you the screen automatically wakes up another thing the charging uh, led was not working i'm not sure why if it's a feature or a bug but uh, it was not working the charging led is something which i used to gauge the charge so yeah it was not working it does have lcd density changer so you can change the density whenever you want but do remember that the play store may or may not break so just go with that enhanced rec uh, recent panel now the normal recent panel is something which you can understand you, it is similar to what you would expect just the this option and nothing else the enhanced uh, recent panel enables the battery uh, the memory usage bar ram bar which is really cool this one has a different style of ram bar rather than this one so it does it only shows you the free ram available which well of course that's the thing you need to look at that's uh, right there uh, it doesn't show the cache or anything like that so that's pretty cool you do have crt animation scale you can have don't show or anything else if you want so yeah it does have a system app remover if you are interested in that if you are flashing a g app and it does have launcher or something like that you can have that you can just remove it from here now it does have an immersive mode which is the kitkat feature so you can enable that and the status bar will go away it's kind of an expanded mode so you do have that option but you can actually use the uh, status bar whenever you want by swiping down so that's really neat now it does have a theme feature which is science gen mode theme it doesn't have the dark that is the trds option but it does have a theme which you can use to 
achieve that kind of an option so that is cool you can just enable that and it will turn inverted everything will be black everything will be cool now this is what i was talking about the dual pane dual panel like the tablet settings so you do have that you do have um super user now the performance control this option is just not working so yeah let's get a force close so it's not working so you have a few options in the uh, sound mode which are really same but you do have camera shutter option so you can click uh, you can have bloop option click or the disable function you can disable the camera shutter sound from here so that is cool you have all these options change charging sounds also in the display option also you do have a few one you have status bar brightness control which is this um, you can slide your finger across the status bar and have the brightness reduce or increase so the animation controls are quite a different one you do have the standard animations like the uh, the scroll animation right now i'm using the alpha animation with a duration of this much you can actually change the duration and custom scrolling uh, everything you can customize it to a lot or extent you do have the default multiplier scales which is the speed of the animation and transition animation scale all of these you do have that in here rather than the development options you do have task and activity open which is the which is kind of like the uh, aokp animation control you do have that you do have wallpaper animation also which i really do not understand what is the uh, purpose of it but you can read these so yeah now uh something which most of us do not care about uh in the developer option there is a state there is a thing called stock mode which is really a great function if you have someone else using the phone who doesn't understand a lot of settings you can just enable these and yeah uh, most of the settings are designed to stay active and they are at rest because the things like active display all of them will be enabled so it removes the voodoo settings from the settings menu so that is really a godsend for me because i do have a few cousins who are well, really small cousins uh they like to play games on my phone i do give them my phone to play games they play the games and then they uh turn off the game they go to settings menu and fiddle around with the settings now i really hate it when they fiddle around with my special settings which are the interference settings interface settings and they mess it up now i don't have to worry about that because i have hidden that option altogether that is really cool i really appreciate that option that's really awesome now you do have in the developer option you can close the developer option itself but i think it's not working because it's well it's still on so yeah i would have liked that option too so that they won't go in here and flip it off and then go back to the voodoo settings so that's something which i am expecting to be cleared so that's pretty cool um apart from that the other functions are similar to what you would expect from the rom the battery i would like to say something about the battery the battery was pretty nice i was really impressed with this i have charged it a bit but it's not draining as much as a kitkat rom would so that is in fact a really cool battery life so let's get to the and to the benchmark score which was pretty cool the benchmark score is similar to what you would expect it was 18400 something i have flashed it uh, numerous times with the previous builds also and it was somewhere between 8, 1800 to 1900 with the stats you'd expect out of an s3 rom so yeah these are the options with which it come and to the benchmark score and yes file explorer are the ones which i have uh, installed personally so that's there you can see the camera option is kind of a generic one it's not special it's similar to what you can expect out of a rom it doesn't have a lot of options. it's not a slim style camera so yeah that's there let me show you guys the boot animation which is a really cool one i really like that so here is the boot animation with the viking style android guys it's a really cool one uh, i guess i've gone through a few, a few pictures of this rom and it says viking style rom so that's really cool so you do have that so i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye